Meanwhile, any moment now, we are expecting to get an update from the Pentagon, where this is also a live picture, as Iranian-backed proxies continue to attack U.S. troops and ships in the Red Sea. It also comes as the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he will block the Biden administration's plans to let the Palestinian Authority, which currently oversees the West Bank, to take over Gaza once this war ends. Trey Yinkst is on the ground for us in southern Israel at this hour. Trey, hello to you. We just learned some sad news about more hostages. What can you tell us right now? Sandra, good afternoon. We are learning right now that Israeli forces have recovered the bodies of two Israelis inside Gaza. We are talking about warrant officer Ziv Dado, who was killed on October 7th, and civilian Aden Zaharia, who was previously seen alive inside Gaza after being kidnapped from the music festival in southern Israel. During the operation to recover their bodies, two Israeli soldiers were killed and others wounded. It is day 67 of the war between Israel and Hamas. Overnight, Israel's defense minister, Yoav Gallant, provided new insight into operations on the ground. Gallant explained that Israeli troops are encircling the neighborhoods of Jabalia and Shajaia in northern Gaza. They've also arrested more Hamas fighters amid fierce battles for territory and hope to gather new intelligence from them. Gallant going on to lay out the goals for Israeli troops. Israel will take any measures in order to destroy Hamas, but we have no intention to stay, to stay permanently in Gaza Strip. We only take care of our security and the security of our citizens alongside the borders with Gaza and elsewhere. Israeli fighting against Hamas comes as a new screening area opened today between Gaza and Israel to speed up the review of humanitarian assistance. The Karim Shalom crossing was historically used for goods to enter Gaza from Israel. Now it will be used to screen aid trucks entering the enclave. Those trucks will still have to cross through Egypt, though, so today's announcement only affects the screening process. Yesterday, 61 aid trucks entered Gaza amid international calls to ramp up assistance to Palestinian civilians. All of these developments on the southern front come amid renewed rocket fire into northern Israel. The Lebanese militant group Hezbollah still getting directly involved in the conflict. Sandra? Trey Yinks in southern Israel for us. Trey, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.